So here is something wild that just happened in the crypto quant world. This AI lab in the US called NOFAI had a crazy idea. They gave six top tier AI models 10 grand each and let them duke it out in the real market. And I am not talking paper trading here. This is actual money trading, crypto perpetual futures. The contestants include Claude, DeepSeek, Gemini, GPT-5, Grok, and QW. After a few days of intense battle, DeepSeek was crushing it in the lead for a while, but has now been overtaken by the QW model. Meanwhile, GPT-5 and Gemini totally crashed and burned. A ton of people saw this and were like, wait, they published the prompts and logic. Can we build this ourselves? Perfect timing too. The FMZ platform just launched their AI trading workflow feature, giving us the perfect playground to experiment. So today, we're going to tear apart this model's core logic and show you exactly how AI quantitative trading actually works. Let's check out the website. So to keep things fair and transparent, the team open sourced everything, prompts, data structures, decision flows, all of it. The rules are pretty straightforward. Each model gets 10K in capital, trades the same six cryptocurrencies in identical market conditions, and the goal is to maximize risk adjusted returns. Using the same prompts, the AI has to generate its own trading signals, determine position sizes, time its entries, and manage risk. Sounds simple, but there are definitely some details that need fine-tuning. After grinding away for days, I finally got this model working. This workflow basically recreates their core architecture. It is a classic C-Think-Act three-stage process. First up is data collection, triggers every three minutes, pulls K-line data for six coins, BTC, EEX, RP, you name it, calculates technical indicators like EMA, MACD, RSI, and reads account balance plus position info. Second is AI decision making. We package all that data and feed it to an AI agent. I am using our homegrown champion DeepSeek here. Important note, besides the user prompts we can see, the official site didn't publish the full system prompt. So I reverse engineered it based on their output. This prompt is super strict, max six positions, single trade risk capped at 5%, must set take profit and stop loss. Third is trade execution, parse the AI's JSON output call the exchange API to place orders, and continuously monitor take profit and stop loss conditions. There are a few design details that are absolutely worth paying attention to. First is the data feeding strategy. Not only do we have three minute short cycle data to catch quick moves, but we also have four hour long cycle data to help the AI identify major trends. This multi time frame approach is standard in professional quant trading. Second is risk management constraints. The prompt explicitly sets leverage between 5 and 40, requires a minimum 2 to 1 risk reward ratio, and forces the AI to explain the signal logic behind every single trade so we can trace its decision making process. Finally, there is the take profit and stop loss setup. We monitor price changes for execution as the last line of defense. These seemingly tedious restrictions, they're literally keeping you alive. All right, let's fire up this workflow. You can see it is up and running now, triggering every three minutes. Since we were rushing, this version is still pretty rough around the edges, but it is definitely good enough for research, learning, and having some fun. Look at this. The AI's decisions get output in real time, and we can clearly see how it is analyzing current market conditions, calculating position sizes, and setting stop loss levels. The whole process is like watching a trader's thought process unfold. So this source code and live trading records are all public now. If you are interested, you can try it out on the FMZ platform. You can swap out different models, tweak the prompts, pick different coins, experiment however you want. But real talk, AI quant trading is still super new. DeepSeek's winning largely because it is backed by Highflyer's quant team and their financial DNA. And GPT-5 and Gemini's spectacular failures should remind us, general purpose, large models aren't necessarily reliable in specialized financial domains. If you really want to use AI for trading, here is my advice. Start with paper trading for a good long while, closely observe whether the AI's decision logic is stable, and for the love of God, don't just YOLO your life savings right off the bat. At the end of the day, no matter how smart the AI is, you still gotta respect the market. That is it for today's content. Catch you in the next one.